Thank you, everyone. So good to see you all. I uh, wouldn't call myself an expert. So I thought we'd have a discussion today about something that's interesting to anyone who is buying a work of art. I think we've all read a ton of articles. There's been a lot of hype in the media about art as an investment, art as an asset class. A lot of the rhetorics become a little bit overheated. We see art indices. We see people that are uh, shopping art investment funds, etc. I thought I'd take a step back. And from our experience, we have billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of art that we have as collateral. And it's art that we feel comfortable lending against, and it's art that we see as a capital asset. So I want to answer the question, what do you need to consider and what kind of art elevates itself to become at that level that it is investment grade high art? And there are a few things based on our experience that every work of art must satisfy to reach that level. And I thought to sort of, to, to have this discussion, I thought it would be worthwhile uh, to use Picasso's La Demoiselle d'Avignon. Because not only is it one of the most important works of art, uh, but it's also quite a valuable work of art that only a hundred or so years ago was worth absolutely nothing. It was a worthless rolled up canvas that someone tucked away under a couch for literally eight years. This work of art, discreetly, has been offered the sum of one billion dollars to the trustees of the Museum of Modern Art. This is a billion dollar work of art. Someone was willing to pay one billion dollars for it and generations ago it was laughed at, it was shunned, and as I said, Picasso and his dealer Conweiler felt, look, this is this is such an embarrassment, roll this thing up, stick it under a couch, and it literally didn't see the light of day for seven years. 